Hi everybody, how are you? It is Dr. Emily, functional podiatrist, human movement specialist, founder of EBFA Global, and inventor of Nervosa Technology. So I have a question for you. For everyone who works with clients or patients who are at a fall risk, who may have had a stroke, have neuropathy, someone that you are trying to improve their balance. Now as part of that balance program and fall reduction program, do you consider their autonomic nervous system state? Do you think about if the concept of balance exercises and an unstable environment actually puts your client or patient into a fight or flight or a disassociation state? It actually may. Now, when we have a patient or client who has histories of falls, maybe they just had a little stumble where they tripped over the curb, or maybe you have a client who had a major fall where they were on the floor for a period of time, you want to think about what that situation did to them. Did it potentially create a fear, a fear that they might not be able to get up off of the floor? Now, this can be a trigger to put them back into that fight or flight state or disassociative state every time you do those exercises or every time they leave the home and get into an environment where they might fall again. Now, why this is important is that the success of your fall reduction program or balance training programming needs to have them in a safe state, in a calm state, a state where they can actually process the exercises and the information that you are giving. Okay, so again, when we fall or when a client falls, a patient falls, depending on how long they were on the floor, they may actually think that they're not going to be able to get back up. Now, when we get into a state where we are threatened or our survival is threatened, even when we fall, you will either go into two different states. The first one is a sympathetic state, which is fight or flight. This means that the client actually thinks that they can get back up. So they mobilize and they get themselves back up and then they walk again. Okay, these ones are easier to get back out of and to restore and to get into your parasympathetic state that you are going to be fine. Now, this is different than if the client or patient fell and they were down on the floor for a long period of time that they thought that they could get up and they were struggling to get up and they couldn't and they were alone. So they didn't know how long they would be on the floor. This actually shifts within the autonomic nervous system or the survival nervous system of can I, can I get safe or can I not? If you can't get safe and your threat perception goes higher, your client or patient is actually going to shut down. Now this shutting down state or this dissociated state becomes a little bit depressive this is very hard to get a client or patient out of when you're going to be looking at future fall reduction programming or balance training programming. Now, why autonomic nervous system state or survival state is important for balance is that the way that we engage our deep core and stabilize our center of gravity is very much dependent on how we are finding a diaphragm and deep core rhythm. This has to do with breathing. So if the client or patient is not breathing the right way, because they're actually going into a survival mode, then it's going to make it very difficult for them to engage their deep core. So the start, what I encourage you to do at the start of the session or the start of the programming for fall reduction and balance enhancement is to think about their breathing state, their autonomic nervous system state. If just that environment throws them into a sympathetic or disassociative state, then we want to start by bringing them down into a parasympathetic state. One of the easiest ways to do this is by doing diaphragmatic breathing or you can actually reset the ventral vagus nerve, which I go into in some of our interoception lectures and on our YouTube channel. Now the diaphragmatic breathing, when you breathe into the belly or below the diaphragm, this activates the parasympathetic system. 
that helps to tell the client or the patient that they are safe. Now, some other ways that you can use uh, or techniques to use to have them feel safe is to do the same thing at the start of the session. This is called anchoring. So if every session you start, you play a certain song, you have them go through the exact same mobilization techniques. I like to bring in sensory information to also help them to feel safe. Have them touch something, have them take off their shoes, have them go onto the Naboso surface so that they can feel the ground, feel connected and actually literally anchor into the ground, but then anchor through the repetitive techniques that you do at the start of every session. And then of course, incorporating diaphragmatic breathing throughout all of those exercises or through the start of the session. Now, if you feel like during certain exercises, if you're doing something and they keep losing their balance and maybe almost fall and they get scared, it's going to throw them into a, a, a different autonomic nervous system state. It's gonna throw them into survival or depending if they had a really bad fall, they might shut down. So you want to make sure that every time there's a stumble, you then revalidate you are safe you are fine, I am here, see the room, feel the ground. You are using anchoring points to drive them and keep them in survival, remembering that the breath is going to continue to bring them into that survival state as well. So as a quick recap is we're doing balance training, we're doing fall reduction programming, we want to consider is the client in survival or are they safe at the start of the session. Depending on the history of falls and the severity of those falls, as soon as they get into this instability environment or this unstable environment, it might throw them into a survival state. So understand the techniques to anchor them, get them to feel safe, and understand the role of breath, sensory stimulation, uh, predictable techniques, which is the anchoring, and then your words and their confidence in you is going to make them to continue to feel safe. If you wanna learn more about these concepts, please head to ebfaglobal.com or to learn more about our sensory products at Naboso, head to nabosatechnology.com. Take care.